No, excellent. There was a lot of very elegant studies that were performed in the early to mid 2000s uh, that demonstrated that when you smoke, you actually cause subtle changes in the proteins of the lungs that then your immune system, which once identified them as normal, starts to see them as abnormal. And the immune response in the lung can then communicate with the rest of the immune system throughout your body, now triggering an attack to find those other particles elsewhere in your body. So the lung was identified early on as a fairly, um, as a potent site of inducing rheumatoid arthritis. And there's a lot of history behind it too, very fascinating history about um, demographic shifts in Europe in the 15, 1600s and 1800s as well about migration to the city, soot in the environment, smoking, triggering outbreaks of rheumatoid arthritis as well. So it's actually been something we've known for centuries, just haven't really appreciated it down to a molecular level as we do now.